In this video, I will show you the unique dollhouse quiet book. It consists of a cover with a house, two dolls and rooms, each of which can be unfolded into the three-dimensional form. The rooms can be freely arranged and connected. I designed them to create a stable dollhouse. The basic version of the house consists of four rooms, kids' room, bathroom, kitchen and garden. They contain velcro detachable elements and small pockets in which you can hide laminated pictures. In addition to the felt, the house also includes foil, a mirror, synthetic leather and buttons. I wanted the project to be easy, so that anyone with basic sewing knowledge could handle it. I plan to add more rooms, so that the collection becomes more and more diverse. You can find the patterns in my Etsy store, the link is in the description under the video. So let's get started. We will need stiff felt, scissors, vanishing marker, clips, moulding, and buttons. Prepare patterns with the title cover part 1 and 2 and cut them out. Place patterns on the right color of felt, outline shapes with vanishing marker, then cut them out along the drawn lines. Arrange blue element in this way, place beige element in the middle. There is 4 mm from the bottom edge and sew along the edge with white thread. Then place the roof in this place so that its upper edge coincides with the privacy element and sew it along the edge with red thread. Place Jimmy elements in this place and sew them on with orange and white thread. The sun and clouds place on the base page in this place and sew them along the edge. Thank you. 
the next step, prepare patterns with the title cover part 3 and cut out first 3 patterns. Place them on the right color of felt, outline shapes and cut them out along the drawn lines. Place the grey element here to cover the bottom edge of the beige element. We will start sewing from here to this place. At the beginning and end of sewing, sew forward and back and repeat 3 times. The upper thread is grey. Place this element on the roof so that its two edges coincide with its lower edge and sew it along the edge with white thread. Place the pink element here so that its lower edge coincides with the previous element and sew it along the edge. Now please cut out these three patterns to make a door. Place them on the right color of felt, outline shapes with vanishing marker, then cut them out. Place yellow element here. There is 6 mm from the upper edge of the red element and sew along the edge with yellow thread. Then place door in this place so that its lower edge touches the upper edge of the pink element and sew it along the edge with red thread.
In the next step, sew a small button here with double thread. My button has a diameter of 10 mm. This element place 10 mm above the door and sew it along the edge with pink thread. Finally, cut all patterns to make a windows. Place them on the right color of felt, outline shapes and cut them out. To cut out small or complex patterns, you can also use interfacing fabric with glue. At the top of the screen you will find a video where I explain how to make it step by step. This element lay 7mm above grey and pink element and sew them along the edge with grey thread. Place yellow elements in the center of the orange ones and sew them along the edge. Place windows under grey elements and sew them along the edge with orange thread. Pink elements place on both sides of the yellow elements and sew them along the edge. In the next stage, prepare small flower shapes buttons and sew them with double thread in these places. My buttons has a diameter of 10 mm. If you want, you can also embroider small colorful balls between the buttons using the French knot method. I explain how to do it step by step in another video, the link you will find at the top of the screen. Place everything on blue felt and sew along the edge. The upper and lower threads are blue.
At the end, cut off excess fat along the edge of the base page. Now we will make those. Prepare patterns to the title cover part 4 and cut out common patterns and these 4 patterns to make a girl. Place them on right color of felt, use interfacing fabric or outline shapes with any shoe marker, then cut them out. These 3 elements save for later to make a boy. Place bow under this element and secure it with clips. Then place it on mesh thread and sew yellow element along the edge. The lower thread is white. In the next step, place this paper pattern slightly below the upper edge of the yellow element and draw its shape with Venishi marker. Then place shoes and the dress in this place and sew them along the edge with green and red thread. Remember that the bottom thread is white. In this paper pattern, make holes in the places of dots. Place it on batch elements so that they overlap and draw dots in the places of holes. Prepare a small piece of black thread and a hole punch. Choose the largest size and make 4 circles. Place circles in the places of dots and sew them by hand with black thread.
and the next step I will embroider twinkles in the eyes using two white threads on the needle with French knot method in the same way as before. Now I will embroider the cheeks with pink mouni on the sides and under the eyes with French knot method in the same way. Finally, I will draw a smile and then embroider it with two black threads on the needle. If you want, you can also use a fabric marker. Save one head for later to make a boy. Place the ears here so that they match the drawn line. And then the head here so that the upper edge coincides with the previously drawn line. Then sew head along the edge with white thread. The bottom thread is also white. At the top, place this element so that its upper edge coincides with the top of yellow element and sew it along the edge with yellow thread. The bottom thread is white. Finally, cut off excess mesh thread along the edge of the girdle.
Now please cut out the rest 3 patterns to make a boy. Place them on the right color of felt, use interfacing fabric or outline shapes with vanish marker, then cut them out along the drawn lines. Take also these 4 patterns that you prepared earlier. Place this paper pattern on dash felt and outline its shape. Place shoes and shorts in this place and sew them along the edge with brown and blue thread. The bottom thread is white. In the next step, place t-shirt here and sew it with blue thread. Place the ears here so that they match the drawn line and then the head here and sew head along the edge with white thread. The bottom thread is also white. At the top, place hair and sew them along the edge with brown thread.
Finally, cut off excess bash felt along the edge of the ball. At this stage, I will explain in detail three very important chapters. How to prepare the base page, how to finish the base page, and how to make velcro elements. This will be common to all rooms. To avoid making the video too long, I will not explain them in detail in the following stages. So if you have any doubts, please come back to these chapters. All chapters of the tutorial are listed in the video description. You can find them very easily. Just click and you will automatically start watching the fragment you need. Good luck! To make base page we will need stiff felt, velcro, long ruler, scissors and venshi marker. Prepare these three patterns with the title base page part 1 and 2 and cut them out. Place them on yellow felt, outline shapes with venshi marker then cut them out. In these paper patterns, make holes and the places of dots. Place patterns on yellow elements so that they overlap and draw dots in the places of holes. Arrange the first part of base page in this way and connect these four dots according to the pattern. In the place of this dot, we will make a hole at the end of our work. So remember not to sew any elements in this place. Prepare velcro tape and velcro pattern and cut out 5 pairs of velcro with hoop and loop side.
To prepare the base patch, we will always need three pairs of Velcro. The remaining elements will later be used to make a dresser and a bed. Place Velcro with a hoop side in the place of this door and sew it along the edge. Arrange the second part of the base page in this way and sew two velcros to the hoop side in the place of these two dots. The remaining velcros, all with a loop side, place on the rest dots and sew them along the edge. Save this element for later. We will need stiff felt, scissors, vanishing markers, clips, velcro tape, hole punch, invisible foil, small buttons, and pen. Now prepare patterns with the title Kids Room Part 1 and cut out patterns to make a window. Place them on the right color of felt, use interfacing fabric or outline shapes with vanishing marker, then cut them out. We will now sew the elements to the upper left side of the base page. Place this paper pattern here. There is 4 mm from the upper edge and 12 mm from the left edge. And now draw its shape with finishing marker. In the next step, place this element in the center of the drawn shape and sew it along the edge with blue thread. Place the green element here so that its lower edge meets the previously drawn line and sew it along the edge. Arrange these two elements in this way and place them on the side so that their outer edges coincide with the previously drawn line. Then sew them along the edge with blue thread. In the next step, place the sun about 3 mm above the green element and pink elements on the sides and sew them along the edge with yellow and pink thread.
Finally, place the pink element here so that its upper edge coincides with the drawn line. We will start sewing from here to this place. At the beginning and end of sewing, sew forward and back and repeat 3 times. In the next step, cut off the remaining two patterns. Place patterns on a visible foil and outline shapes with a pen. Then cut it out. Place this foil element on the base page in this place. We will start sewing from here to this place. At the beginning and end of sewing, sew forward and back and repeat 3 times. The rest four elements place here and sew them in the same way as before, from here to this place. At the beginning and end of sewing, sew forward and back and repeat three times. Now please cut all patterns to make a dresser. Place them on right color of felt and foil, outline shapes and cut them out. We will now sew the elements to the upper right side of the base page. Place this element on red one 2mm from its upper edge and sew along the edge. Next, place foil element below and sew it from here to this place. At the beginning and end of sewing, sew forward and back and repeat 3 times.
these two elements, place here and sew them along the edge with blue and pink thread. Place two small buttons in this place and sew them with double thread. Place velcro with a loop side that you prepared earlier in the center of this element and sew it along the edge. Turn this element over, place the dresser on it and sew along the edge. The upper and lower threads are welded. Now please cut off excess thread along the edge of the dresser. In the next step, place the dresser in this place and mark the place where the center of the velcro touches the base page. Then place velcro with a hoop side in this place and sew it along the edge. Now please cut out the rest buttons. Place them on right color of felt and foil, outline shapes and cut them out. Place these four elements on the base page in this place and sew them along the edge, matching the color of the thread to the color of the felt. Place hard on pink element and sew it twice from here to this place with red thread. I will draw lines on these two elements and then sew them on the machine twice with green and blue thread. Place seven small buttons on these three elements and sew them with double thread. Finally, place two full elements here and sew them from here to this space. At the beginning and end of sewing, sew forward and back and repeat three times.
At the end, prepare patterns to the title Kids Room Part 2 and cut them out. Place them on the right color of felt, outline shapes with vanishing marker, then cut them out. Now we will sew the elements to the lower right side of the base page. Place carpet in the center of this part and sew it along the edge. Next, place pillow on the bed, there is 8 mm from the upper edge and sew along the edge. Take velcro with a loop side that you prepared earlier and place it in the center, then sew it along the edge. Turn this element over, place the blue one on it and sew along the edge. The upper and lower threads are blue. In the next step, place dark blue element on red one so that their upper edges overlap, fasten it with clips and sew along the edge with blue thread. The bottom thread is red. Finally, place it on blue elements so that the lower edges overlap, fasten it with clips. We will start sewing from here to this place. At the beginning and end of sewing, sew forward and back and repeat three times. The upper thread is red and the lower thread is blue. Now please cut off excess blue felt along the edge of the bed.
place bed on the carpet and draw the place where the Velcro touches the base page. Then sew the last Velcro with a hoop side in this place and sew it along the edge. Now we can finish the base page. Turn this element over, place the base page in the center part, sew both elements along these two lines from here to this place and from here to this place. The upper and lower threads are yellow. The next stage we will start sewing from this place 2 mm to the left of this line and then sew until we reach this place and then sew along the edge to this place then 2 mm to the right of this line up to this place The next step, cut off excess thread along the edge of the base plate. Finally, cut along this line from here to this place. Be careful not to cut the seams.
The set also includes additional patterns, just print them and laminate. You don't have to buy a laminator machine. You can get this service at every photocopier. If you have your own laminator machine, just place the patterns in the fold intended for the lamination and put it inside. Next, cut out individual images of the inner edge of the frame so that it's not visible. Save these four pictures for later, we will need them to finish the bathroom and kitchen. Now you can put the pictures into the pockets. The kids' room is ready. We will need stiff felt, scissors, vanishing markers, clips, two pairs of velcro, invisible foil, mirror, and buttons. To make base page for the bathroom, we will need these two patterns that you prepared earlier, light blue stiff felt, scissors, vanish marker, long ruler, and three pairs of velcro. So now prepare these two parts of the base page for bathroom in the same way as we did for kids' room. Prepare patterns with the title Bathroom Part 1 and cut out patterns to make a washing machine. Place them on the right color of felt, outline shapes with vanishing marker, then cut them out. Take this paper pattern, place it on foil and cut out its shape. It doesn't have to be very precise. Next, in this paper pattern, cut out the inner shape. Place it on grey elements so that they overlap and trace the inner shape with vanishing marker. Then cut it out. Place foil that you prepared earlier under the grey element and secure it with clips. Then sew both pieces along the inside edge with grey thread.
Now turn this element over and cut off excess foil along the seam line. Prepare this paper pattern and cut also the inner shape. Prepare this slightly smaller white element, place pattern on it so that they overlap and trace the inner shape with vanishing marker. Then cut it out. Place this element in this place to cover the hole and sew along the outer edge with grey thread. Above, place this element and sew it on with blue thread. The bottom thread is white. Prepare three small buttons, place them on dark blue element and sew them by hand with double thread. Next, take second white element, place this pattern in this way and mark a dog in the center part of the hole. Then place velcro with a loop side in this place and sew it along the edge. The bottom thread is white. Turn this element over, place the front of the washing machine so that both elements meet with the lower edges, fasten it with clips. We will start sewing from here to this place. At the beginning and end of sewing, sew forward and back and repeat three times. The upper and lower threads are white. Now we will sew the elements to the upper left part of the base page. Washing machine placed here 3 mm on right of this dot. Then draw the place where the velcro touches the base page. Next place velcro with a hoop side in this place and sew it along the edge. For a larger button, mine has a diameter of 10 mm, place it here and sew it with white double thread. In the next step, cut off patterns to make clothes. Place them on right color of felt, outline shapes and cut them out along the drawn lines. Now you can put them in the washing machine. Now please cut out another three patterns. Place them on pink felt and foil, outline shapes and cut them out. 
place pink element here and sew it along the edge. Now I will draw two lines on pink element and then sew it twice on the machine with pink thread. Prepare four small buttons, place them here and sew it with double thread. Place two foil elements in this place. We will start sewing from here to this place. At the beginning and end of sewing, sew forward and back and repeat three times. Next, please cut out patterns to make a toilet. Place them on the right color of felt, outline shapes and cut them out along the drawn lines. We will sew the elements to the upper right part of the base page. Place this element here. There is 5 mm from the bottom edge and 20 mm from the left edge. Then sew it along the edge with white thread. In the next step, place this element here, there is 12 mm from the upper edge and sew along the edge with grey thread. In the next step, place this element here and sew it along the edge. Now place this element here, 4 mm from the grey element and sew along the edge with white thread. The last element place in this place and sew it along the edge with white thread.
Now please cut out the last patterns to make a sink and a mirror. Place them on the right color of felt, outline shapes and cut them out along the drawn lines. This paper pattern plays on the left side of the mirror and cut out its shape. It doesn't have to be very precise. In the next step, please cut out the inner shape. Place it on pink elements so that they overlap and trace the inner shape. Then cut it out. Place mirror under this element and secure it with clips. Then sew both pieces along the inside edge with pink thread. Turn this element over and cut off excess mirror along the same line. Place mirror on the right of the toilet and sew along of the outer edge with pink thread. Place this element here at the same height as the toilet and sew it along the edge with white thread. In the next step, place this element here and sew it along the edge. The last element, place here and sew it along the edge. Prepare patterns in the title Bathroom Part 2 and cut out these two patterns to make a carpet. Place them on grey and beige felt, outline shapes with vanishing marker, then cut them out. Place beige element in the middle and sew it on with white thread.
Now we will sew the elements to the lower right part of the base page. Place carpet in the center part and sew along the edge with grey thread. Finally, cut all patterns to make a backpack. Place them on the right color of felt, outline shapes and cut them out along the drawn lines. Arrange this element in this way. Place velcro with a loop side here. And sew it along the edge. Place pink element here and fasten it with clips. Then place dark blue element on top, about 7 mm under the upper edge of the white element, and sew along the edge with blue thread. The bottom thread is white. Finally, place the white element here so that its bottom edge coincides with the bottom edge of the large white element and fasten it with clips. We will start sewing from here to this place. At the beginning and end of sewing, sew forward then back and repeat three times. The upper and lower threads are white. In the next step, draw the place where the velcro touches the base page. Then place velcro with a hoop side in this place and sew it along the edge. Now we can finish the base page. We will make it in the same way as doing the kids room. So please turn this element over. Place the base page in the middle and sew along these two lines from here to this place and from here to this place. The upper and lower threads are blue. In the next stage we will start sewing from this place, 2 mm to the left of this line. Then from this place, sew along this line, here, and along the edge, to this place, 2 mm to the right of this line, and up here to this place. The upper and lower threads are blue. Now please cut off excess felt along the edge of the base page.
finally cut along this line from here to this place. Be careful not to cut the seams. Take these two pictures that we prepared earlier and put them into the pockets. The bathroom is ready. We will need stiff felt, scissors, vanishing markers, clips, 9 velcro with the loop side and 7 velcro with the hoop side invisible foil, hole punch, and buttons. To make the base patch, we'll need bash felt, scissors, finishing marker, long ruler, three pairs of velcro, and these two patterns that you prepared earlier. So now please prepare two parts of the base page as we did when creating a kid's room. If you don't remember how to do it, go back to the chapter how to prepare a base page. Prepare patterns to the title Kitchen Part 1 and Candle Patterns to make a fridge. Place patterns on the right color of felt, outline shapes and cut them out along the draw lines. In these paper patterns make holes in the places of dots. Place the first paper pattern on this element so that they overlap and draw dots in the place of these two holes. Then place the same pattern on this element and draw only the dot in place of this hole. In the next step, place velcro with the hoop side in the places of dots and sew them along the edge. The second pattern placed on this element so that they overlap and draw dot in the place of hole. Then take a velcro with a loop side, place it in the place of dot and sew it on. Turn this element over and in the middle of the circle, draw a dot. The last pattern place on orange element and draw dots in the place of these two holes. In the place of this dot, make a hole. In the place of this dot, place velcro with a loop side and sew it on. Turn this element over, place circle in this place to cover the seam and sew along the edge with yellow thread. The color of the bottom thread is in the same color of the velcro. We have already prepared 5 elements to make the fridge. This is what they should look like from all sides.
Prepare these two elements. Turn this element over. Arrange this element so that the side of the velcro is at the top. Then adjust this so that the hole lines up with the dot on this element. Then fasten it with clips. Then place this element on top, fasten it with clips, and sew all pieces along the edge of this element. The upper and lower threads are blue. In the next step, cut off excess fur along the edge of the blue element. Arrange this element in this way. Measure 10 mm on the strip from this edge in two places. And connect the dots. Prepare the last element, place it in the middle and fasten it with clips. In the next step, insert this strip between both elements so that it's in the middle and meet the drawn line with this edge. Fasten it with clips. So all elements along the edge of this element. The upper and lower threads are blue. Finally, cut off excess fat along the edge of the blue element. If you want, you can also sew button in this place. My button has a diameter of 10 mm. The color of the thread should be the same as the velcro. Now we will sew the elements to the upper left side of the base page. Place fridge 3 mm on the right of this dot and draw the place where the velcro touches the base page. Then place velcro with a hoop side in this place. 
and sew it along the edge. In the next step, please cut out these two elements. Place patterns on yellow and red felt, outline shapes and cut them out along the drawn lines. Place this pattern on foil and cut out its shape. It doesn't have to be very precise. Now please cut out the inner shape in this pattern. Place it on yellow elements so that they overlap and trace the inner shape. Then cut it out. Place foil under this element and secure it with clips. So both elements along the inside edge with yellow thread. Turn this element over and cut off excess foil along the seam line. Next, place it here at the same height as the bridge. We will start sewing from here to this place at the beginning and end of sewing, so forward and back and repeat three times. Red element place above and sew it along the edge. Next, I will draw a line on this element and then sew it twice on the machine with red thread. Prepare two small buttons, place it here and sew them by hand with double thread. Cut out the next three patterns to make an oven. Place patterns on right color of felt, outline shapes and cut them out. Place this element on foil and cut it out its shape, it doesn't have to be very precise. Next, in these two patterns, cut out the inner shapes. Place them on orange and blue elements so that they overlap and trace the inner shape.
then cut them out. Place foil under this element, secure it with clips, and then sew both elements along the inside edge with blue thread. Turn this element over and cut off excess foil along the seam line. Then place it on orange element to cover the hole and sew along the outer edge with blue thread. Above, place yellow element and sew them along the edge. Prepare three small buttons and sew them here with double thread. Now we will sew the elements to the upper right part of the base page. Place Owen at the same height as fridge and 6mm from the left edge. We will start sewing from here to this place. At the beginning and end of sewing, sew forward and back and repeat three times. Now please cut out the rest for patterns. Place them on the right corner of felt and fold, outline shape with vanishing marker and pen and cut them out. Place red elements here and sew them along the edge with red thread. Then put it on the base page here at the same height as Owen and sew along the edge with blue thread.
prepare the last two small buttons and sew them here with double thread. Foil elements place here. We will start sewing from here to this place and from here to this place. At the beginning and end of sewing, sew forward and back and repeat three times. Now please prepare patterns of the title Kitchen Part 2 and Cadeau Patterns to make a table. Place them on the right color of felt, outline shapes and cut them out along the drawn lines. Place circles on the table and sew them on, matching the color of the thread to the color of the felt. In the center of each circle, place velcro with the hoop side and sew them on. Place table on the lower right part of the base page. We will start sewing from here to this place. At the beginning and end of sewing, sew forward and back and repeat three times. In the next step, cut out the next two patterns. Place patterns on bash felt, outline shapes and cut them out along the drawn lines. In the center of the square elements, place velcro with a loop side and sew them along the edge. Finally, cut out the last patterns. Place patterns on the right color of felt. Use interfacing fabric or outline shapes with vanishing marker, then cut them out along the drawn lines. Place the small elements on the bare circles in the same way as I did and sew them along the edge, matching the color of the thread to the color of the felt. Place the last 5 patterns here and sew them along the edge, matching the color of the thread to the color of the felt.
In the next step, I will draw an eye on fish and a tail on apple and then embroider it with two black threads on the needle with French knot method and a simple stitch. Turn this element over Place circles in the center part And then sew along the edge The upper and lower threads are white Finally, cut off excess thread along the edge of the circles. In the center of this element, draw a dot and then make a hole in this place. Choose the largest size. Now we can finish the base page. If you are not sure how to do this, go back to the chapter titled How to finish the base page where I showed it step by step. Turn this element over, place the base page in the middle and sew along these two lines from here to this place and from here to this place. The upper and lower threads are wide. At the next stage, we will start sewing from here, 2 mm to the left of this line. Then sew along this line to this place, then along the edge to this place, 2 mm on the right of this line, then along this line to this place. The upper and lower threads are wide. Next, cut off excess thread along the edge of the base page. Finally, cut along this drawn line from here 
to this place. Be careful not to cut the seams. Take the last pictures that you prepared earlier and put them into the pockets. We will need stiff felt, scissors, vanishing markers, clips, two pairs of velcro, synthetic leather, two, and buttons. To make the base patch, we will need stiff light green felt, long ruler, vanishing marker, scissors, three pairs of velcro, and these two patterns that we prepared earlier. So now please prepare two parts of the base page as we did it when creating a kid's room. If you don't remember how to do it, go back to the chapter how to prepare a base page. Prepare patterns to the title Garden Part 1 and cut out patterns to make fence and flowers. Place them on right color of felt, outline shapes with vanishing marker, then cut them out. Fence elements place in the middle of the upper left and right part of the base page. 9 mm from the bottom edge. And sew along the edge with white thread. Now I will draw vertical lines on the fence, then sew them twice with white thread. Next, put green elements in these three places and sew them along the edge with green thread. Thank you. 
place flower elements here to cover the upper edge of the green elements. Then the circle in the middle. And sew circles along the edge with orange, yellow and pink thread. If you want, you can sew small buttons in the center with double thread. In the next step, please cut all patterns to make a bench. Place patterns on light and dark brown felt, outline shapes and cut them out along the drawn lines. Place legs of bench on the right at the same height as a flower and sew it along the edge with brown thread. This element placed 12 mm above the lower edge of the legs and sew it along the edge with beige thread. Place the last element here so that this lower edge touches the previous element. We will start sewing from here to this place and from here to this place. At the beginning and end of sewing, sew forward and back and repeat three times. The upper thread is beige. Cut out the last patterns to make the tree and the butterfly. Place them on right color of felt, outline shapes and cut them out. Elements of the tree arrange in this way and sew them along the edge with brown and green thread.
In the center part of this element, place velcro with a loop side and sew it on. In the center of the green element, place velcro with a hoop side and sew along the edge. In the center of the circle, place this element and sew only from here to this place. Then place the red element here to cover the seam and sew along the edge with red thread. Turn this element over Place circle on it and sew along the edge with white thread. The bottom thread is also white. Finally, cut off excess felt along the edge of the circle. Now prepare patterns to better your garden part 2 and cut them out. Place them on the right color of felt, outline shapes and cut them out along the drawn lines. Place this element on the left side of the synthetic leather and cut out its shape. It doesn't have to be very precise. Next, in this paper pattern, cut out the inner shape. Place it on smaller brown elements so that they overlap and trace the inner shape. Then cut it out. Place this pattern on two and cut out the shape with a margin of about 1 cm and doesn't have to be very precise. Place two on blue element, then place them under this element and fasten them with clips. We will sew along the inside edge with a bash thread. From this place, stop here, insert the button, then continue sewing to the place where we started.
Turn this element over and cut off excess leather and tool along the seam line. In the center of the bigger brown element, place velcro with a loop side and sew it on. Velcro with a hoop side, place in the center of the lower right part of the base page and sew it along the edge. Turn this element over, place this one in the center and sew along the outer edge with beige thread. The bottom thread is also beige. In the next step, cut off excess thread along the edge. Arrange the stones in the same way as I did. Try to make sure that each one is at a different angle and doesn't go beyond the edge of the brown element. So each one separately with grey and white thread. The lower thread is beige. Now we can finish the base page. If you are not sure how to do this, go back to the chapter titled How to finish the base page, where I showed it step by step. Turn this element over, place the base page in the middle, and sew along these two lines, from here to this place, and from here to this place. The upper and lower threads are green. The next stage we will start sewing from this place 2 mm to the left of this line, then and sew along this line to this place, then along the edge to this place 2 mm to the right of this line, then sew up to this place. The upper and lower threads are green. Next, cut off excess thread along the edge of the base page. Finally, cut along this drawn line from here to this place. Be careful not to cut the seams.
We will need cover and four rooms that we prepared earlier, hole punch, vanishing marker, shoelace, and this paper pattern titled Base Page Part 1. Place pattern on each base page so that they overlap and draw a dot in the place of this hole. Then prepare a hole punch, choose the largest size and make holes in the place of each dot. Arrange cover and pages in the order you want it to be and thread the shoelace through each hole. I'm very happy that this project was created. It was a long road, many laps along the way, but in the end we succeeded. Thank you very much, kudos to you for getting this far. There will be more rooms in the collection. Write in the comments what I should do next time. See you soon. Bye bye.